Hey friends, Elizabeth here from Plant Based Bride, back again with another video. Today I'm setting up my husband's bullet journal for June with a very simple minimalist theme. June is a very busy month for my family. We have so much going on. So I really wanted to keep this setup very simple, very practical, but still have that little bit of visual interest, a little bit of an artistic element. So this whole theme was inspired by a piece of art that I found on Pinterest, which showed stairs going up through an archway into what appeared to be a portal. And I've seen different variations of this style of artwork before, and I always enjoyed it. I always felt like it really sparked my imagination. So I decided to create two of these portals opposite each other for the cover page. One is a portal leading into a bright, beautiful daytime, and the other is a portal leading out into a clear night. So some mirroring here, as well as some contrast from the day to night. And I created this whole theme using a single secure micron, the 05 nib, and two colors of Archer and Oliver Acrylographs, a yellow and a blue. As always, all of the supplies I'm using will be linked in the description box down below, so check that out if you're looking for anything in particular. I'm starting with all of the basic line work for this cover page and then going in and filling in my colors, the yellow and the blue in my two different portals, and then also filling in my lettering. When I started this, I was planning on leaving my lettering just an outline, but once I finished with the rest of the spread, I just felt like the lettering looked unfinished and I decided to fill it in and I'm very glad I did because I think the simple black text, the slightly bolder effect balances out this spread better than the outline did. The fun thing about these portal style drawings is that you could literally draw anything on the interior of the portal. It could be a rainbow on the other side, it could be a Salvador Dali painting, it could be an astronaut in outer space. Your options are only limited by your imagination. Flipping to the next spread, which is going to be his June calendar, giving him a nice big two page spread so he can really plan out everything that's happening this month. Starting again with all of my basic inking, getting all of the details roughed in before adding the more artistic element. For this spread, I wanted to continue on with my color scheme of black and white and yellow and blue, and I wanted to continue on with that very simple minimalist art style. So for the calendar spread, I decided to utilize the boxes that I normally just wouldn't draw because they're not used for the days in June to create five sequential images of a sun rising and then setting over an ocean. So drawing very simple wavy lines with my blue acrylograph to represent the ocean, changing it slightly from one square to the next so it appears like the ocean is moving with the waves, and then creating a sun that starts just coming up over the waves and then a little higher and then reaches its peak and descends again. You can 
could easily create these kinds of sequential pains in a bunch of different circumstances, over a desert, over mountains, over an ocean, as I did. And this can be a really simple but fun way to add a little bit of detail to a calendar spread. Flipping over to the final spread of this setup, the first page of my husband's notes pages, where he jots down everything he needs to keep track of, daily to-do lists, notes from meetings, things to follow up on, etc. Again, adding just a little bit of visual interest with very simple drawings. So for this spread, tying together elements from the first and second spreads, I'm creating a moon that is just above the water. So you can see the rippled reflection in the water, just using my yellow acrylograph for this, and then adding a couple little stars on the other side of the notes header, just to finish this off. And that's it for this very simple setup. I'll do a quick flip through for you so you can see all of the spreads. This one was really fun to do, very simple, but very aesthetically pleasing, at least for me. I really love this color scheme of a darker, more mustard yellow, and then a nice desaturated blue. Just such a perfect combination. And I can't wait, as always, to see your interpretations of this theme if you decide to recreate it, if you're inspired by it. As always, tag me over on Instagram because I love to see your work. So that is it for this video. Before I go, I want to quickly thank my patrons for their support. And I also want to quickly list out all of our newest patrons because I must admit I have fallen behind on naming all of our new patrons. A warm welcome to Amelia, Angela, Anne, Bethany, Caitlin, Catherine, another Catherine, Elena, Eleni, Elizabeth, Elliot is so extra, Aaron, another Aaron, Gintare, Hannah, Inca, Jessica, Jordaline, Karen, Kendra, Lily, Maria, Marjorie, Melanie, Michelle, Mikenko, Rosie, Yeri, Sarah, another Sarah, Sasha, Sophie, Tanya, Tara, Uma, Valerie, and Vilma. Welcome all of you to the squad. We are so excited to have you. If you at home want to join the squad, feel free. There's a link in the card and in the description box down below. And with that, I'm going to get going. Thank you so much for watching this video and be sure to come back here next week to see my setup of my new bullet journal for the second half of 2022. Bye friends.